Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Diablo 4 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac port of this game, and like Diablo 3 which did have a macOS port and Diablo 2 which originally had a macOS port back in the day, Diablo 4 unfortunately has no Mac port. However, it is possible to play the Windows version of this game on the Mac, despite the fact that this uses a completely different CPU architecture. And today I'm going to be showing you how this runs. So you can actually see this is Diablo 4 running on my MacBook Pro with the M3 max chip we're running at 1080p at high settings and it seems to run not too badly and this is all thanks to the magic of something called crossover 24 which is a windows translation layer we've also applied something called cx patcher which allows us to run the latest version of something called d3d metal which allows the direct x12 windows game to be translated on the fly onto the mac os without losing too much performance there's very minimal stuttering etc and if you want to be able to do this today i'm going to show you the full tutorial on getting this to work on an M series Mac. So if you've got an M1, M2, M3 or even M4 Apple Silicon Mac, then this is going to be the tutorial for you. The process for getting this to work might seem complicated, but as long as you follow this tutorial step by step, then you're going to be getting this amazing game working on your Mac. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code, Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time let's open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing i'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover this is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of d3d metal at the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3 so here we're going to be downloading the latest version of cx patcher which i'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to game porting toolkit 2.0 which is d3d metal 2.0 beta 3 so here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cx patcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings, and then go to Security and Privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click Open anyway. And here, we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask for code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So double click on crossover. So this is my crossover bottle. I already have Steam installed, but what I'm going to do instead is download the Battle.net version. And basically we can just download this, the Battle.net desktop app. And what this will do is install the Battle.net launcher into its own bottle. So I'm going to press install here, and then it's going to go ahead and download and install all the dependencies that we need. We're going to press yes here to the font installation and press yes again. Here it's installing Visual C++, just agree and press install, press close. Now I'm going to press next, agree and next, and then install. And here I'm going to press finish. So here I'm going to press yes as well to Visual C++ 2005, 2008, etc. A lot of dependencies here. Once again, press install, close. And again, 
install and then press finish here. So you're going to select the language, English, and it's downloading the agent. So press continue. Now it's installing properly. So here we have the Battle.net launcher. So there's a Windows version. We're going to log in with our email address and password. So now I'm just going to go to my authenticator and approve. And then we're going to go ahead and log in. So here is asking if we want to scan for games, but we're actually going to download these. And then we'll just go to games here. And basically, if you have any of these Battle.net games attached here, you can already find them in your library here, or you can buy them from the shop here. So just go ahead and select the game that you want. So today we're going to be installing Diablo 4. So this is the Windows version of Diablo 4. And uh, all we need to do is press the install button and then install it in its default location if you want to. So it's going to go through the download process and it's going to download the entire game. So you need to wait for that to complete. And once it's ready, you'll be able to press the play button here. And then we're going to go ahead and launch the game for the very first time. So here you can see that Diablo 4 is loading up. So this is the latest patch with the expansion Vessel of Hatred. Here we're going ahead and connecting to the servers and we're logging in. So now I've loaded up my character and we're actually playing the game. So running this at 1080p at high settings and it seems to be running pretty well. We're getting over 60 FPS on the MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. Anyway, I do highly recommend running this game with 16 gigabytes of RAM or more. So this is actually using more than 16 gigabytes at the moment. So if you have more RAM, then this is definitely recommended. Otherwise, you're going to get into swap memory and have high memory pressure on your solid state drive and have reduced performance. But if you have over 16, let's say 24 or 32 gigabyte, then you're probably going to be running this just fine on the Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. There are many other Windows games that can be run through Crossover, CX Patcher, and D3D Metal. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.